Well, last week we introduced you to a new segment we're calling Coach's Corner. It's a chance to hear from Liberty University head coaches on different key aspects within their programs. Today's topic, spiritual leadership and how they go about providing this to their teams. Spiritual leadership is something that we try to delegate on our team. Uh, I do a lot of it, but my assistant coach, Coach Lemmy, he does that as well. And we try to have some of our leaders, our older players, be involved in that as well, whether it's, it's assisting in a devotional or it's assisting in, in an outreach. But uh, no, it's something that all, all of us try to be involved in as much as we can. Yeah, I think it's different each year. I think when you have strong spiritual leadership, uh, like we had when uh, I was first here, we had a young man by the name of Jesse Sanders. I think he had the uh, audacity to lead. Uh, and then there's been times when uh, we've done it as coaches and, uh, and other times when other players have kind of uh, taken the lead in, in maybe groups of two or three. The spiritual leadership of the team, uh, hopefully it starts with, with me as the head coach and um, uh, just our daily approach to, to everything we do. But ultimately, it falls on the leadership of the team in the locker room. We talk a lot about uh, championships are won and lost when the coaches aren't around. So even from a spiritual standpoint, uh, the, the, the climate of the team uh, rises and falls on, on, on the leadership itself. I provide the, the spiritual oversight, if you will, and then we allow the individual women on the team to rise up in various leadership positions as far as the nuts and bolts. I'd much rather they do it than have it be mandated by the by the coaching staff. First of all, I have to look at myself and understand that uh, coaching is a ministry, and I take the lead there. However, uh, I work with several of the players that have a natural tendency to, to lead. We get with some of our leaders and, and, and allow them to invest in one another, and I actually just pull back and pull away. It's important that they develop that team chemistry. Whenever we hire a coach or even a staff member, the, a big thing we look for is people that have a heart uh, to mentor young uh, men and women to uh, walk with the Lord. And I totally believe that an athlete is called to be an athlete is going to be a better athlete the more closely they walk with the Lord. So that's part of the things that we, we challenge them to constantly. You know, Matt, one of the interesting things about being a coach at Liberty is it's not just about wins and losses. Yeah. It's about what Coach Green was talking about and all those coaches. It's about a ministry, and it's about being able to be the leader of that and kind of get it all going so that you can spiritually lead these students. Well, what is the goal of school training? Champions for Christ, yep. and that doesn't just mean on the playing field. It also means spiritually as well, and these coaches take that very seriously.